Hello people, in this video we want to look at Horner's syndrome. See, uh, Horner's syndrome basically is uh, due to oculosympathetic paresis. What is paresis? Uh, it is muscular weakness because of the nerve, partial paralysis etc. they are saying. So, uh, sympathetic actually does what for you? Sympathetic, you have seen, it will dilate the pupil, right? And uh, sympathetic system, let's see what else it does. Here you can see the sympathetic uh, nervous system, right? We are concerned only with the oculo. Here they are saying the oculosympathetic uh, paresis. So let us look at the eye part here. So it is a elevation of upper eyelid, right? They are showing uh, the nerve to the tarsal muscle, then dilator of pupil. So nothing will happen. There will be no dilation of pupil and there cannot be elevation of the eyelid. That's what we understand as of now. Let us see what they have written here in the symptoms, the triad. The classic triad, there will be mild ptosis because of paralysis of the Mueller's muscles. Muller's, Muller's muscles, mild ptosis, okay, it's mild, mild ptosis. Meiosis, because it cannot dilate, right, because of the paralysis of the dilator pupillae, there will be meiosis. Other than these two, what will be there? Reduced ipsilateral sweating, anhydrosis, so sweating. On the same side is reduced. Let's see that from where did sweating come. As such here they have not shown uh, the sweat part of it. But anyways this is the explanation for the sympathetic nervous system. So the central sympathetic tract it will synapse with the preganglionic sympathetic neurons in spinal cord. Okay. Then what happens which outflow through the first thoracic nerve roots and to the sympathetic ganglia by the rami something. From the cervical sympathetic chain, the postganglionic pupillary nerve fibers pass up along the internal carotid artery to the cavernous plexus and uh, via the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve to the eye. So there it will cause pupillary dilation and elevation of the upper eyelid. But here again they did not explain about the sweating part of it. So, where is the lesion? The lesion is in the ipsilateral, central or peripheral sympathetic pathway. It can be on the same side in the central or the peripheral sympathetic pathway. Paralysis of the cervical sympathetic nerve, all this can happen. So, what is the triad? Triad, mild ptosis. Remember, mild ptosis, meiosis, the pupil is really uh, small, right? Mild ptosis, meiosis and reduced ipsilateral sweating this is not going to be sweating. The same thing they have shown here also. So, mild ptosis, meiosis and reduced sweating on the ipsilateral side. Okay. So, that's Horner's syndrome. So, the lower brachial plexus may be affected by cervical band or by rib or by a pancost lesion, a bronchial carcinoma at the apex of the lung. So, these are the things that lead to all the sympathetic um, Paralysis, isn't it? Oculosympathetic paralysis can happen because of this pancost lesion which is there in the apex of the lung. It's a carcinoma. So, this is very common in elderly, they are saying. Abnormalities such as Horner's syndrome, they are common in elderly related to stroke and neoplastic disease. Look at this here. So, this guy is having right side, they have shown meiosis. And they have shown ptosis and he is not sweating on this side. So, the right eye seems to be very happy because though with all this ptosis he seems to be happy. Why? Because he is saying so apparently we will get cocaine poured all over us. He is thinking they will give, give, give cocaine, cocaine test they will do. So, he is very happy. So, the other eye is saying the diagnosis can be made with aproclonidine also. Then this I is saying I am good with coke. Coke is enough for me. Okay. So basically this is Horner syndrome. The eyes are actually happy because they will get cocaine poured over them. But anyways, now they don't do that. They do it with apraclonidin looks like. Horner syndrome other features. So it's not just those three things. There are other features that can happen. Mild N ophthalmos. That means uh, inward displacement of the eyeball. Okay. That is mild again. Mild here. Loss of spinal reflex, heterochromia that is usually in the 
uh, congenital hornus, they are saying heterochromia. Ipsilateral iris is lighter color at the same side, whichever is affected, the same side, the iris will be lighter in color. Pupil will be slow to dilate. Okay, pupil uh, will be slow because it is in what state? It is in meiosis. It is slow to dilate, but it will dilate. That's what it looks like. And there occurs slight elevation of the lower eyelid. Lower eyelid also can come up. Just look at this. This is congenital. Let's say this is a little darker iris, darker iris, and here you can see a lighter iris, and you can see myeltosis. And if you can see meiosis, they are saying even the lower eyelid can be a little up. Okay. And there should be reduced sweating on ipsilateral side. So, there can be other, uh, not just the uh, mild toses and mild, mild things which don't seem to bother, right? But there could be other uh, things like tumors, cancers, etc. underlying. Here you see this photocornus syndrome on the affected side which looks to be this side. There may be very slight small pupil. Yeah, it looks small compared to this one. There is stosis. Yes, there is stosis which may be very slight. And this small pupil actually that reacts to light and accommodation. This is able to react to light and accommodation. That's what they are saying here. And isochoria, pupil size in one eye is different from the other eye. Looks like they are not considering any light or anything in this case. So, what is it about horners here? So, an isochoria. So, this is again indicating that sympathetic uh, nervous system from central it's coming and from spinal nerves and then there is some superior cervical ganglion and then the trigeminal nerve they have indicated here. And the sixth nerve, that is abducens also they have shown here. And then it is the ophthalmic nerve is coming and it seems to be supplying the eyelid, Muller's muscle they said, and the dilator pupillae, right? Long ciliary nerves. Similar diagram here, guys. Um, midbrain, medulla. Then here, thoracic ganglion, superior cervical ganglion. Carotid plexus, yes, carotid, there's something mentioned about the carotid artery or something, right? Carotid plexus, long ciliary nerve to the dilator pupillae, short ciliary nerve, okay, that we are not concerned, we are more concerned about the dilator pupillae, okay. So, this is something that we can try to understand here. Horner syndrome, which is the left eye here. In dark, it has to dilate, right? So, this one has dilated in dark, but this one is not dilating. In light, this one has constricted, so that is fine, isn't it? And if you give cocaine, what happens? Cocaine should, cocaine is doing what? It's dilating the normal pupil. Cocaine has no effect on the Horner's pupil. Cocaine has no effect on the Horner's pupil. Can you tell the triad of Horner syndrome? Triad of Horner syndrome, failure to dilate on shading the eye. It's not dilating. So, it is in meiosis, partial ptosis and the sweating of the upper face may be absent. Sweating of the upper face may be absent. This is the triad. Guys, in light, what was supposed to happen? Meiosis, right? It was supposed to, meiosis was supposed to happen. Okay, so it cannot dilate. But it can undergo meiosis, what do you say? Because they have said it is a small pupil meiosis that reacts to both light and accommodation. That means it is able to constrict, is it? Furthermore, for Horner's syndrome or harm, hornus pupil they have test they have the cocaine test okay this fails to dilate the hornus syndrome small pupil fails to dilate in hornus syndrome cocaine won't help okay but uh, if it is hornus it will not dilate there is something else um, which also doesn't dilate Apraclonidine test is there. It is an alpha to adrenergic agonist. It is also an anti glaucoma drug. And there is also epinephrine. Uh, it will work. 
okay means what it will dilate guys we are done with this horner syndrome um, now let's look at the surgical treatment for the ptosis for the ptosis the surgical treatment they are saying is some fasanella cervat surgical treatment for the ptosis for the drooping eyelid okay let's take a recap of this horner syndrome okay so basically there is mild ptosis small pupil and reduced sweating on the ipsilateral side that is the triad of horner syndrome it happens because of ocular sympathetic paresis so the sweating reduced is also called as anhydrosis so we, uh, the lesion can be central peripheral sympathetic pathway paralysis of cervical sympathetic nerve even brachial plexus they said right yeah brachial plexus where does that come so abnormalities uh, is common in elderly so this is the triad showing the triad small pupil ptosis and reduced sweating on the same side other features can be there like mild inophthalmos heterochromia in congenital horners loss of some ciliospinal reflex pupil is slow to dilate can it dilate if you put some drops some specific drops maybe even lower eyelid can be slightly elevated it there can be some tumors you should be careful about lung cancer pancos tumor etc congenital horn uh, horners there will be heterochromatism right what is that heterochromia in congenital the iris is lighter in color on the affected side they are saying appears blue so is an image of horners on the left side and isochoria is nothing but the pupil size is being different and then we saw the horners syndrome the pupil you can see in dark the normal eye dilates in light the normal eyes pupil is constricting and the horners what is happening what do you think is happening cocaine if you put it cannot dilate the horner pupil okay but it seems to have dilated the normal one in the triad we saw tests are that cocaine test fails to dilate the horner's uh, uh, pupil syndrome then you have the surgical treatment for the ptosis fasanella cervat okay that's all for now in horner syndrome bye bye guys the saproclonidin will dilate the horner pupil okay so cocaine was it can dilate everything on earth but it fails to dilate the horner's pupil but apraclonidine is able to dilate the horner pupil okay